H. H. Bennett, also known as Henry Hamilton Bennett, was born in Canada on January 15, 1843. Although he was born in Canada, Bennett was raised just over the Canadian border in Battleboro, Vermont. When he was 14 years old, he moved to Kilbourne City, Wisconsin, with his father and uncle to work as a carpenter. After the outbreak of the Civil War in 1861, Bennett enlisted in the Army and went off to fight at the age of 18. During the war, Bennett accidentally shot himself in the hand. Because of his injury, he was not able to continue his work as a carpenter. He purchased the Kilbourne City Photography Studio in 1865 and began his future as a photographer. Bennett quickly realized there was little demand for photographic portraits in the area, so he decided to build himself a portable darkroom for developing photos, and he loaded his camera and other necessary equipment into a small boat and began taking pictures of the scenery in Kilbourne City. The Wisconsin River cut through Kilbourne City, and over millions of years had created beautiful rock formations along its edge. H. H. Bennett took many photos of the sandstone formations, but was disappointed in how his photos did not capture the three-dimensional quality that he loved so much about the rocks. As a result, Bennett developed what he called a stereoscopic viewer and stereoscopic images. The images consisted of two photos that were printed side by side. When the images were placed in the viewer, the person's eyes would focus on each picture individually and create the illusion that the image was in 3D. The stereoscopic viewers and images became very popular, and it wasn't long before they had spread all over the United States. Bennett also wanted to be able to take photos of moving subjects. Until now, it took minutes for a camera to just take one photo, so he... So if he wanted to snap a photo of someone running or a fish being caught, the photo would be blurry. Bennett developed the first stop-action shutter, which allowed him to take photos of moving subjects. One of his best-known photos is of his son, Ashley. The photo was taken in 1886 and shows Ashley jumping between two rock formations. People were amazed and shocked when Bennett showed them the photo. You can still visit the site where Bennett took the photo and watch a dog jump between the two rock formations. Postcards were another item that Bennett created and sold. The postcards would have photos of the Wisconsin River, the sandstone rock formations, people that were visiting Kilbourne City, and of the native Ho-Chunk people that lived in the area. These postcards were purchased by tourists and sent all over the United States. When people saw the images, they were interested, and they would come and make plans to see Kilbourne City. This was the beginning of the Wisconsin Dells as you know it. Yes, it used to be called Kilbourne City. Now when you hear someone talk about the Dells, hopefully you will think of more than water parks, restaurants, and hotels. You will think of the man that started it all, H.H. H. Bennett, the photographer that put the Wisconsin Dells on the map.